two new books by the Gentleman Club's own Mark Antimate, featuring over a hundred entries of Japanese whiskey. Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, as I've already given the preview over the Mars Saigo Don, we will be reviewing this one inside of this episode. And I have all of my tasting notes before me so that I don't leave anything out as usual. This is the box to that one. And... I got the bottle and my Klingern, tongue tie, my Glen Kern glass before me. Corkscrew cap. Let's go ahead and open this one up. It's just, it's just a habit that I smell the cork. Let's put this back on like so. Move it to the side. So let's see. Whew. Too many fumes on that one. Let me give it a little bit of a whirl. Some some blows to blow away all those alcoholic ethanol fumes. This one is very light. Coconut on the nose. Typical oak wood and maple. A little bit of the tasting now. Mmm. Mmm. complex it's creamy soft malty you got the light maple that you have on the nose is also on the palate buttery texture the finish is very quick and goes down smooth let's have another have another bite of this It has an air-like, peat-esque smoke to the aftertaste. And uh, it actually chews quite nicely. This is about my fourth time having this. Once at Artie's Bar in Osaka, which will now be in Tokyo in three days from now. And... Um, I had it three times, including today, subsequently at home. And it seems to get better and better each time that I have it. This is truly a lovely whiskey, and especially for the price that I paid for it, which I did not mention inside of the last video, but let me mention it now. Yeah, because not only to say the least, uh, you guys are bothering me. Can I mention the price of how much I pay for these whiskeys? So, with the tax included, this one was 2,750 yen. And in, uh, I guess, U.S. dollars, that would convert to something like uh, $25 U.S. But that's inter-Japan. Of course, if you're importing this to the United States, the price is going to skyrocket. Um, but I paid a little bit more than that, actually, because... Uh, the bottle wasn't local. I got it from Fukuoka, and I had it shipped to me here in Tokyo, Japan. And that shipping price was about 1,000 Japanese yen. So total, I paid 3,750 Japanese yen for this, which was 35 U.S. 
But still, for a no-age statement Japanese whiskey, enter Japan, that is a very affordable price. And you could definitely make this uh, a daily drinker. And even though you could see that I have so much more left inside of the bottle, it would be wise of me to go ahead and purchase two more of these before uh, the quantity starts getting really limited. This would be my one to drink, buy another one for collecting and to sell inside the far future and just hold on to the third one for whatever reason just as a backup to either drink or sell that one as well so always make sure that you get three whiskeys for your collection it would make for a nice trade especially if i went back to the united states i mean that's not something that i would be doing during high corona season but i'm saying if i had something like this on me and i brought it back on a sub on a subsequent visit to the states this is something that you can easily trade for something more high end and better so when you come to japan make sure you pick up a couple of these but it is what it is a very good whiskey a uh, complex tasting experience and very light but very flavorful at the same time let me go ahead and have one more bite of this and then we're going to close out this video mm. so much better than what i experienced i mean it was good last time but it just gets better and better and better anyways gentlemen Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Make sure that you drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you know what to do. Keep it classy. I'll see you guys in the next one.